If some people get a chance to choose between life without work and spending most of the time working, then they would choose not to work. Do you agree or disagree? In contemporary society, the idea of a life devoid of the burdens of work can be enticing for many individuals. Some argue that if given the option, a significant portion of people would opt for a life without the demands of employment. I am inclined to agree with this perspective for several compelling reasons. To begin with, the allure of a life without work lies in the freedom it offers. Without the constraints of employment, individuals can explore their passions, spend quality time with loved ones and engage in activities that bring them genuine joy. For instance, imagine someone passionate about painting but constrained by the demands of a full-time job. Without the need to work, they could dedicate ample time to honing their artistic skills and pursuing their creative endeavours. Additionally, the pursuit of a work-free life is driven by the desire for a better work-life balance. In today's fast-paced world, many individuals find themselves trapped in a cycle of perpetual work, leaving little time for personal fulfilment or leisure activities. By opting out of the traditional workforce, individuals can prioritise their well-being and achieve a more harmonious equilibrium between work and life commitments. For example, someone may choose to spend more time with their family, engage in recreational pursuits, or simply enjoy moments of solitude and reflection. In conclusion, the notion of choosing a life without work holds considerable appeal for many individuals, driven by the freedom it offers and the prospect of achieving a better work-life balance. While some people find work important for society and themselves, it's vital to understand and respect those who prefer different lifestyles. Therefore, I maintain that if given the choice, a significant number of people would indeed opt for a life without the constraints of employment.